Steve, superb second half comeback um, to end Taunton's winning run of uh, 12 on the, on the bounce, which ironically started with the corresponding fixture. Yeah, I mean, that was a big part of the team talk before. Listen, we didn't dwell on the previous result too much. You can't, we got smashed to pieces when we went there. Uh, but the one thing we said to the players before is, that really hurt when we went down there. It's embarrassing, you walk off, their players are giving it to you, their fans are giving it to you. There's no problem with that, rightly so. And um, just said to a member on the night, we said to him, listen, we've got to play them again, and the only way you can do anything about it is the next time you play them. And that was part of the team talk before, uh, to try and get maybe that extra little bit of reaction, because a lot of the players played in that game. And it's, uh, it's the only way you can put it right in the performance. And um, unfortunately, then you turn them down at half time and you. Listen, they're a really good side. Regardless of today's result, they're a really, really good side. Um, and they've shown that the form they've been on, I think. You were just saying about 12 on the spin. Um, so we knew it was going to be tough. Um, but obviously, looking at what, what you saw second half was the boys were, were, were unbelievable. We worked, we worked hard this week on what we were going to do, shape. Well, we changed our shape completely. Um, and then you turn your down and you're like, I actually thought the shape worked because it wasn't, it wasn't a cause of the goals. Um, but we stuck with it and we had a, we had a few words at half time, not like sensible words because I thought we played okay but we'd missed good chances again and um, the second half was, uh, was magnificent. What was the message at half time and, and did the players, you know, truly, honestly, just believe we'd still get something out of this, being two down to a team on, on the run uh, like Tottenham were? Yeah, I mean, you look at players and you, you don't know. I mean, we've got an honest group so I knew they'd go out and have a go but we, we were... We were careful in how, how we spoke to them at half time because I think it was really frustrating to be 2 0 down. Like I said, we played okay, we missed some good chances. Um, but we, we sat down, we had a chat, and talked about the. I didn't think we marked their two forwards well in our first half. Um, and as soon as we got tight in the second half, I thought that, that, that played a big part. Obviously, we still had a lot to do, but we stopped them getting chances. We, we told them just to keep going at half time. The next goal would could possibly change the game. If they get it, it's game over, and then it's damage limitations, and then you're worried, what's the fallout from that going to be? What's the reaction? Because it's a, it's a defeat when you might not have played that, that, that badly again. Um, we scored fairly early, and um, we just kept going. And uh, We always create chances, as, as we did again today. We scored three, could have had a couple more. Granted, they could have had a couple as well. Uh, but the effort, and the, the character, and the work rate, I know they're all cliches, but they are what they are. They were magnificent second half. Um, even the last couple of minutes, bodies on the line, everything you want from a team, and, and they deserve that, massively deserve that. We, we played okay lately. We've been on the wrong end of a few unlucky ones, a few bad decisions, a couple of bad performances, a few injuries, bits and pieces, but today uh, we had a few people back. Um, obviously, David coming up right back as well, so that, that, that bumps us up a little bit. Um, but the shift they put in was, was magnificent, and we beat one of the best sides in the league today. Um, which, which is credit to the boys. Sometimes there's certain wins that probably give you a bit more of a kick than others. I mean, ultimately, it's done that really beats three points, but we've always had a little bit of a thing with Taunton uh, when we seem to go down to them. Uh, we've been whacked a few times. We've had three players sent off in one game, and every time we've gone there, something seems to go wrong. Um, but when we when they come here last time, I thought they were massively disrespectful to us. And, um, you know, they're always going to be dangerous. They're always going to make a chance or two in their, on their home if you want to call it that, but um... Um, there was a video posted afterwards where they basically said the clubs are absolute dump, the pitch is a disgrace, the area is horrible, and, uh, and they're all little things that, that, that you remember. And again, we, we did speak to the boys about that before, and uh, um, that I felt that maybe they would think they'd come here and, they, and they'd roll us over, which they did at their place. And uh, even before the game, you could hear some of their players just laughing, laughing at the club, laughing. At, I think the comment was, What time do you put the cows back on the pitch? And uh, I think it's quite disrespectful. Yeah, the pitch was poor today, but we don't get seven or eight hundred here. We haven't got loads of money. We haven't got full-time grounds and that does it. We've got volunteers that try and help out. And whether you think that or not about clubs, for me, I don't think you should say stuff like that. And uh, it's, um, yeah, th them things do stick with you a little bit. And um, so it, it was, it probably adds a little bit of extra to it. Listen, it's no, no more points for it, but when you're 2-0 down, and you can even see one or two of them laughing at us on their way off and giving it to us. And this I've got no problem with that at all, because that's part of football, and I don't mind a little bit of, I think, S hours, really, as they call it. Um, so to spin it round second half and uh, almost get one back over on them from before was, was satisfying. But I'll give their players the credit at the end of the day. They come over, shook everyone's hand, and 
said you deserved it second half. So uh, yeah, listen, it, 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 it is what it is, and I'm sure we'll have an interesting game when we go back to them next year if we're, we're all still still in the same league. Two more for James Ewington. He's into his thirties in terms of goals this season now. Uh, his first goal for me. No one else today scores that. Um, it's cut back. We thought George was going to go onto it, and it was bobbly, but it couldn't have been any better for him to try it. And his his last goal. Oddly enough, our biggest concern today against them was set pieces because it's such a big side and they punished us at their place a couple of times and obviously they've scored with a free kick in the first half. And um, I actually just said before that, we've got a corner and I'd said to George, sort of maybe go and get a short one. I didn't think we'd get much joy putting it in and we put it in. I did have a great angle on it, but he does what he does. He's, he's, we were talking before maybe making a change and uh, all of a sudden he's, he's popped up and he does what he does what he does and he's done it again. He's been doing it for a few years and um, hopefully, hopefully do it for a few more. Uh, debut, as you touched upon, uh, for David Amate at right back, as he came in this week. How do you think he did? Yeah, I thought he was great. Just defended. That's all he did. Um, difficult pitch to play on today. Um, so trying to get on it and run and clip balls and do this and that was, was difficult. But the one thing I knew from talking to Gary Hampton, he said he's a proper defender. He's strong. He's no nonsense. And he doesn't get beat. And I, I thought, listen, it wasn't just him today. They were all magnificent. But he's coming in and he's done a proper job. Um, we have conceded too many goals lately and we have conceded another two today but second half we said to him go out, you, you have to keep a clean sheet to have any chance of winning the game and, and, and they've gone out and, and done that. And good competition for, for Sammy obviously when he's back fit and playing, how, how far off is he? I think Sam will probably still be another couple of weeks obviously Ez is a right back um, but we purposely played him in there today because when we was down at their place uh, at the number 13 Stern that plays in the hole he's, he's top drawer at this level he scored two or three against us down there. We couldn't, we couldn't live with him on the day. As his job today was to mark him and follow him wherever he went, and he did that. He stopped him because he's, he's, I think he's their best player. Um, so the idea was today we went sort of for a diamond system with Ace just sitting in the marking, um, and he would normally play like that. But he's done, gone in there and done a, done a great job for the team. But no, it brings hopefully David enjoyed it today, and we can keep him around for a few more games. Then with Ace staying fit, Samuel's back. All of a sudden we've got some good options to pick from, which we've not had lately. And, and that makes a big difference in coming here today. All of a sudden, I've left James Taylor out the side today. He's been fantastic for us this year. Um, but we felt it might suit Armit a little bit more in that shape for him to get forward a bit more, whereas James is more of a defender. So he's unlucky not to play today. But this, for the first time in two months, I've had an option to leave players out that would normally play, play in the eleven. Just a quick word on our, on the crowd today as well. We had our first ever... Uh, schools, schools day. Three local schools came along. There was 140 uh, kids and parents from three of the local schools. I think they absolutely loved every second of it. Just the, did it make the difference? I think they didn't stop cheering the whole, especially in the second half. Listen, it's brilliant. We, we don't get massive crowds down there. Everybody knows that, and you guys are working extremely hard behind the scenes to do that. And even just before the game, you see the stand pretty much full. You can hear all the kids. It, I don't care what anyone says. It does make a difference. The players can hear it. You could hear him cheering early on with a few of the chances and it, it, it just brings a little bit more of an atmosphere to the ground. And um, then if you're 2 nil down, you think, oh, maybe they're going to go I'm disappointed a little bit. And uh, second half, we, we put on a good show for them. Um, so hopefully that might get a few, one or two, two well, to come yeah, back. Yeah, it mentioned, yeah, we've got two more two, home games coming up in the next yeah, two weeks, so who knows. Nice. I'm sure they've all come here and enjoyed it. And, uh, <laughs> and we've given them a probably really entertaining game to watch and uh, with, with the right result. At the end of it, and uh, no, it was, it was good, that's yeah. what we want. Cheers, Stephen. Good luck, and we'll see you for Western Superman next week. No, fantastic. Cheers, guys.